those storms that we've been expecting all week could come today and possibly tomorrow as well. Yeah, in fact, tomorrow the threat has increased. Okay. So yeah, we have just we have to be paying attention the next two afternoons, especially during the evening time, because that's when we're really going to be focused on those systems coming in. Uh, this is our severe weather outlook for today, though. We are looking at a marginal risk. It is a low level threat for most of the Metroplex. Our western counties, that's where we have a slight risk. That's a level two out of five for the likelihood of strong to severe storms, meaning the more west you are, the more likely you are to encounter a strong storm this afternoon and evening. The main threat today is going to be large hail, the potential for strong winds, and with some of these storms building in overnight, if they hold together, we unfortunately do see a very low end tornado threat again our western counties. So let's go ahead and talk about that timeline coverage today of rain 30%. Most of us won't see it. We're looking at cloud cover. We're looking at scattered showers and that's really about it. Most of the day looks like this. We see a few little pockets of that rain. We're watching that to warm front to the south. Try to make its way into North Texas. So look at this. This is Tuesday around seven. That's when we start to see a few of these storms kind of building from the south and west. So that's what we, where we will be watching. A few of the storms could be on the strong side. Again, they'll be very isolated, broken up. We're not really expecting big coverage with this. Overnight, we're looking at this really kind of fizzling out. Cloud cover stays consistent. We'll notice some scattered showers. And then Wednesday, rain coverage is going to go up. Our threat increases as well. We're looking at an enhanced risk that includes a big portion of North Texas. The Metroplex included in this a level three out of five for the likelihood of strong to severe storms here. We are still looking at large hail being the main hazard as well as the potential for strong winds. But with this system now being a line of showers and storms, we're also looking at an isolated tornado threat. So let's take a, take a look at that timeline. Most of the morning Wednesday, we're going to see some scattered showers. It's going to be cloudy. This is around noon. We're going to notice this front kind of build in some of these showers and storms. So these will be coming in from the north and west. These storms will then progress towards the south and east all along that front. Right now, it does look like we see better coverage of this rain between six and seven along the I-35 corridor counties. Coverage about an 80 percent. This is when we're going to expect the strong to maybe even severe storms. This is now around 10. We notice these storms kind of becoming better developed as they progress towards the east southeast and then the threat kind of lowers as we get closer to midnight. Then we're looking at just some lingering rain pretty early on Thursday. We don't have the threat for severe weather Thursday. It's not there on Friday, Friday night. We're then talking about another system. So this is number three. For those of you keeping count, we're looking at 40% coverage of rain with this one all as a front in an area low pressure uh, move through the region. So this is late in the day, uh, Friday, Friday night into Saturday morning. The timing of this could still change. We're looking at some of this rain even hanging out uh, early on Saturday before it dries out for the second half of the weekend. By the time it's all said and done between now and Saturday, we're looking at one to two, maybe two and a half inches of beneficial rain for North Texas. Our western county see less. The higher uh, count, the higher totals will be closer towards the Red River. Cedar Hill right now looking cloudy. Temperature of 63 degrees. We're looking at a few very light scattered showers. Again, this is mostly what we're going to see uh, through a majority of the day. Our temperatures, those are going to be a little tricky because of a warm front pushing through the area, but we could make it to near 70 degrees today. Uh, temperatures really staying cooler than what's considered normal this time of the year, not just this week, but through the weekend as well, Megan.